are a week away from the big night, and that is when the award, when we award the winner of the CBS4 Nat Moore Trophy for the best high school football player in South Florida. No, I promise this to be a great <laughs> night, and the award could not be named, quite honestly, after a better guy. Former Dolphins great Nat Moore joining us now. The trophy is there off to his right. And that this has been so many months in the making, it's hard to believe that the moment is nearly upon us. What does it mean to you to have this award named after you and to have this trophy awarded to some fine young man? Well, you know, when they first inducted me into the Dolphins Ring of Honor and my name went up in the stadium, you know, I thought that was special. I thought that was the best thing since sliced bread. I had no chance of making the Hall of Fame. But this honor here tops that. I mean, this is saying that I will always be remembered for the football accolades of what I did here in South Florida as a kid growing up, more yeah. so than once I became a Dolphin. And, and you're also known as a great guy, too. Well, thank you very much. But, uh, you know, I, I live in a community that has given me so much. And uh, I must say thank you to WFOR for coming up with this concept and honoring me the way I am, the way it is. But even more so, the fact that young kids now will know a little bit more about what happened back when. Sure. And hopefully we'll take it and run with it. And uh, the trophy, we, we just saw some pictures of it, and we have it right here. It's that famous pose of you scoring <laughs> that historic touchdown versus the 1985 Chicago Bears. Uh, what does that mean to you? Well, uh, when first asked of the polls, I was like, that's it. Because, <laughs> you know, beating the Bears that year, keeping the, the undefeated season uh, record perfect and no one tying it uh, meant a great deal, especially because I had a chance to play with all those guys. Yeah, it was certainly a very special night. Now, let's go back to your upbringing here. I know that your stepdad was a chauffeur, your mom was a maid. Uh, they raised you the right way, but it may be hard for you folks to believe, but this mild-mannered gentleman, once upon a time, was a bit of a hothead in high school because you came up at a time and an era and in a neighborhood where, you know what, uh, if somebody gave you static, you gave it right back. So how did you learn to grow out of that? Well, I think it's all about uh, you grow. You know, the fact that uh, sometimes it's okay to disagree um, and accept their side of the uh, of the, uh, how would I say it, <laughs> argument. <laughs> That's what it, really what it always turned into. Yeah. And eventually just learn to, to, to let it be and find the positives in everything you do. And that uh, if I was ever going to be successful, mm -hmm. it, it's all about uh, making those changes, uh, working with others, and uh, realizing that they have a point of view as well. Yeah, and that uh, as a young man, you can learn from your mistakes. Now, we're looking at video of, uh, from Edison High School, your alma mater. And this was a great day, I know, for you because uh, their storage shed was destroyed, their football equipment ruined, and uh, the Dolphins got right on the horn and made sure that Edison High School had uh, new football equipment. And I remember that day, you told those kids, hey, look, football is a way up, but your mind is your way out. Yeah, you know, it's, it's really about what you do with the rest of your life. You only play football for so long, but uh, the education and knowledge you attain is what, going, what is going to certify you the rest of your life to be successful. And mm -hmm. I must say my hat's off to Steve Ross and Tom Garfinkel and the Miami Dolphins for th the way they roll up their sleeves and they get engaged here in the South Florida community. So uh, thanks to them. Edison uh, had a great year this year, and Luther Campbell, my good buddy, uh, became an excellent coach this yeah. year. And we're looking at the finalists right now, a very impressive men. We're down to four. Mm -hmm. um, what, what is your message to them and really to all high school football players? It's, it's all about you've got this God-given ability. Use it, but use it for more than just playing football. You know, educate yourself. You only play football for so long, and then whether you go to go to college and, and then play in the pros at some point that ends but it's the knowledge that you attain along the way that's going to help you the rest of your life you play football for maybe if you're lucky uh, five six years in the pros if you get there uh, but then what do you do with the rest of your life yeah. so everything's about educating yourself well, you've done a lot be with better. your life my friend for sure you played 13 years and uh, that's phenomenal and we're so honored to uh, have this award named after you and uh, we're looking forward to one of these fine young men getting right. that uh, trophy next week and of course you can join us live for the CBS4 Nat Moore Trophy presentation next Tuesday December 10th we're going to be live in a special presentation from Hard Rock Stadium and of course Nat will be there he's a very busy man <laughs> 
but he's going to break away from all the things he has to do to be there. And uh, it's such an honor, man, uh, for you to have your name on this, man. We salute you. Well, no, like I said, for a kid like me, it's a dream come true. You know, you know it's a legacy piece that, uh, you know, I never thought I would ever see. Yeah, you deserve it, man. Thank yeah. you. All right. Nice to have okay. you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Pleasure. The CBS4 Nat Moore Trophy is sponsored by FPL. Activate your FPL Energy Analyzer today at fpl.com slash take control.